This is Keith Perkelhammer and this is Reef Bum TV. Frag plugs can be an eyesore in a reef tank, and in this video I go through a couple of ways to mount frags without those unsightly plugs. To begin with, I always cut frags off the frag plugs and dip them in Bayer Advanced Insecticide to make sure they are free of pests such as acro-eating flatworms and red bugs. Some frags encrust on frag plugs and it is more likely that eggs will be attached to the encrusted part. Since eggs are immune to the dip, it is wise to cut them off from the base of the coral. Once the frags are dipped, I get ready for the mounting process. I begin with tiny pieces of reef rock and attach them to some egg crate with cable ties. It can be cumbersome, but it does work. Another method I use is to super glue the small rocks to frag plugs sitting in the egg crate. When I'm ready to place the frags in the tank, I simply break the pieces of rock off of the frag plugs. Both methods allow me to easily attach frags with super glue to the small rocks, which look much more natural in a tank than those ugly plugs. I do this inside of a small container to make sure things are still so the frags can bond well to the rocks. I like to use A-Crate since it allows me to gradually move all of the frags higher up in the tank over a week or so, giving the frags time to adjust to my tank's lighting. I first place the A-Crate on my sand bed and then move it up to different shelves of rock. Frag rack holders that attach to the tank's glass via magnets can also be used. The final step is to apply a small amount of epoxy putty to the small rocks and mount the rocks to the reef. Now, you may be wondering why I don't simply apply the putty directly to the frag itself. Well, the epoxy is a two-part putty-like substance, and when you mix the two parts together, it gets warm. And heat is something that might potentially harm a sensitive frag. Why not just superglue the frags directly to the reef? You would have to turn off all the pumps since the superglue needs time to fully cure. However, it would still be touch and go since critters such as hermit crabs and snails could easily knock a frag over. Just a quick reminder that you can view my live HD webcam on ReefBum.com. Use the ReefBum TV nav button to get there and to visit my HD video page. Many thanks for watching and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be alerted to new videos on my YouTube channel.